This video series explains how to deploy Windows 7 from Windows XP using the Windows Automated Installation Kit and Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010. My name is Jay Paloma. Rolling out Windows 7 into the Windows XP environment may be a daunting task for a lot of admins. Good thing Microsoft came out with free tools to help us in doing so. One of which is the Windows Automated Installation Kit or WAIK and the other is Microsoft Deployment Toolkit or MDT. WAIK consists of command prompt utilities that allow us more power and flexibility in our deployment options while MDT gives us automation and consistency. It is best for the deployment techie to learn how to use WAIK before venturing into MDT, which automates the key functions of WAIK. In part 6 of this video series, we will take a look at how to prepare the MDT media enabling us to deploy Windows 7 even to branch offices that may not permit us to use the wide area network for deployment. Here we see the deployment workbench utility of MDT. After importing our operating system, adding applications and creating task sequences, especially the one that deploys Windows 7, we now create our MDT media in advanced configuration Media. Creating the MDT media is pretty straightforward. Just right click and select New Media. We will now be asked where to store the media contents in the hard disk. Then we now need to update media content to generate the media ISO file. Let's now take a look at how the media files appear in our hard disk. We see that it created an ISO file which we can later burn into a DVD. If we examine the rest of the contents of the media folder, we notice that it contains the same folder structure as our deployment share. This is because the MDT media is a replica of our deployment share. This is so that if the deployment share is not available or simply not accessible via wide area network, we can still deploy via DVD or even an external hard disk if we choose to. Let us now switch to our Windows XP client. I have made customizations in this client. I have some files on the desktop, customized Microsoft Excel with a black border. I will now load our MDT Media ISO file. If Auto Run is enabled, it will automatically launch the deployment wizard. Migration type Computer name Join a domain We will now enter the credentials to be able to join this machine to the domain. In the specify where to save your data and settings, we select automatically determine the location and ensure that allow data and settings to be stored locally when possible is checked. 
this performs what's called a hard link migration of our settings and files. In the specify where to save complete computer backup, we leave it at default. Then language and other preferences. Then time zone. We now enter the local administrator password so that the deployment wizard can automatically log on after it restarts to continue its job. And now we're ready. The rest of the processes are speeded up in the interest of time. Now we're logged into Windows 7. The final task is restore user state. Our files and settings backed up in Windows XP using hard link migration. We now log on as the Windows XP user and notice that the files are intact as well as the black border in Microsoft Excel. You have seen how to create a Microsoft Deployment Toolkit Media to enable us to use MDT to deploy Windows 7 to computers that may have challenges in using the LAN or WAN during deployment, like branch office machines. We have also seen how to deploy Windows 7 from a Windows XP machine using the MDT media. Be sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series. This has been Jay Paloma.